Hey YouTube, what's going on? It's been a little while since I posted my last video. Um, or haul video for that matter is. Uh, the last couple of videos I've done are my, or were, was my 400 subscriber contest. And I apologize to those who are the winners. I have not sent your books out yet, but I am in the process of doing that. Um, I had to get a little, another more, some, a little more packaging stuff. So I'm hoping to have that stuff out this week. So um, I will... Contact you on Instagram or text message once the packages go out. But this video is um, not only just a haul video, but it's actually kind of a, a meetup video. And me and my family took a ride down to Pittsburgh this past weekend. My wife has friends from college that live down there. So I figured, well, we're going down there. I'm going to contact... Um, Somebody I consider my friend. You guys might know him as PJ Zombie. And when you're in Pittsburgh, you got to meet up with PJ Zombie. So like, we've been going back and forth, um, trying to meet up. And he sent me this uh, uh, link to or a name to this comic shop. So I said, yeah, we'll meet you there. I'm like 20 minutes away. And, and he's like, I'm like 40 minutes away. So I get there. And he's like, I'm parked at an Olive Garden. I'm like, it's an odd place for an Olive Garden. I didn't realize that there's more than one location. So apparently I went to the one down in downtown Pittsburgh. He was the one about 20 minutes away outside of Pittsburgh. But uh, nonetheless, we met up. He took me to his shop. <laughs> this thing is amazing. I sent some people some, some text messages and stuff on Facebook. And um, he told me there's like $300, 300 long boxes of dollar books. And he wasn't shitting. This, this picture, it's in a mall for one thing. Just think, there's three separate stores, storefronts wide, is the size of this comic shop. You first walk in, there's obviously, there's the normal stuff. You got you got back issues, you got new issues, you got your pops, you got your wall books. And then to the right, into another room, they do all their gaming stuff. They do have some comics in there. They have some, some like $3 Silver Age and Bronze Age stuff that was mostly Mesa Reader copies and pretty, pretty much beat up. Some sets. But then to the left was this massive room filled with dollar boxes. And it's like we were that was there what over two hours, or me and Josh were there over two hours, and we didn't even get we didn't even scratch the surface on all these boxes. So um obviously not knowing what my, my budget was, I tried to stick to pretty much what I was looking for rather than kind of go off on any kind of tangents, but it's never never the case. Um but yeah, while we we're talking Going back and forth, it was such a great time just kind of hanging out and talking comics with it while you're digging and, you know, showing books that we're finding and stuff. And then we talked to some other guy that was in there and stuff he was finding. So it was pretty cool. And me and Josh did a little exchange. Um, I'll show that at the end. I gave him some stuff and then obviously he gave me a little stuff. And uh, yeah, so it worked out. So I'm going to kind of show you. I got some DC, I got some Marvel. I got, you know, a little bit of everything. Um, I'm just going to start with. Um, most of these are run fillers and nothing crazy. I was able to finish some runs I've been working on for a while. I've been working on volume two of Booster Gold. I picked up number four. Like I said, I, I could have picked up so much more. I mean, this. I mean, you, when you go to a comic store and you need a shopping cart, I mean, that's. I mean, you could literally walk in with a shopping cart. And he said next week is their warehouse sale. Books are like fifty cents, which is ridiculous. Um, the last days of Animal Man, Animal Man number four, six issue series. Been looking for number four, so I finally finished that off. And I can finally read it. If you watched Comic Book Memories, I believe it was last weekend or two weeks ago, with Shannon and Doctor Sewerage are talking about the J JSA stuff. This is one of the books they showed, the Thrilling Comics. I think I have this, but I wasn't sure because it wasn't my sales yet. But obviously, it's got Hawkman and Wildcat in it, so I'm gonna buy it. I found some World Finest, two ninety two, which I actually already had, but it somehow wasn't wasn't marked in my my app. And two sixty, I like these little thicker, thicker ones. So I love the new series of World's Finest, so good. And I found this is a three issue series. I only found number two and three, but I've seen people pick this up over the years and show it, but I've never seen it out. So I forget to pick it up. This is World's Finest. Joker and Lex on there, and then number three, pretty cool cover. 
So yeah, really happy to find these. This finishes off this little run for me. This is JLA All Stars Volume One. This is issue one. And then the, each issue after that has like a, a spotlight on, on certain characters. And this was really surprised to find this one. This is number four. It's the first appearance of Star Girl. Um, uh, she Courtney, whatever her name is. I can't remember her last name. But yeah, so it's got a little spine roll on there, but shit for a dollar. I'll take that all day long. Anytime I can find some volume one Justice League books. Great. This is issue 181. I believe this is when Green Lant or Green Arrow quits the Justice League. Issue 197. Just starting the Justice Society. I'm trying to pretty much collect from 100 to the end of volume one. Um, 206. 218. 219. I have pretty much pretty close to 200 to the end. I think it was 250 something maybe. 237. And 238. I like this cover. And 249. Another nice little cover there. So yeah. So I think I'm I think maybe it's 250 something that goes to. So I think I have majority of the 200s. And some Marvel books I found. I thought this was cool. I've seen this in quite a bit, but I never really picked it up. I like anything to do with the thing. Not so much Doctor Strange fan, really, but uh, this is Strange Tales. This is like volume two. It's got that nice little, like, it's got like an acetate cover to it. Cover. Somewhere if I can show it here. A little see through cover. This is the real cover there. It's got the little thing on the back there. So, so yeah, I thought that was pretty cool for a dollar. Nice thick book. I found two Captain America um, newsstands I needed. 356. And 387. Nice Modoc cover there. Found some Avengers. 193. 265. This is my era of Avengers. This is kind of what I'm kind of collecting. If I find anything other than that, I'll pick it up cheap. But yeah, anything in the you know 200 to 300 range, I'm picking up all day long. And then obviously I'm buying anything with the 25th anniversary issues. It's 275 in the Avengers. I found the Mighty Thor 374. Most of these had bags on them, but they're all beat up. Some had bags and boards. This is one of the nicer ones that was bagged and boards, so I kept it in there. Incredible Hulk Annual number 15. Nice Mike Zek cover there. And then a new title that um, I started picking up was Web of Spider-Man. So I found issues 13. This is the 25th anniversary issues. There's a couple keys in here that might be a little tougher to get. 14. It's a nice little run. 16. 17. Not a huge Spider-Man fan. I don't I don't mind him. 21. And 23. Black suit Spidey there. So yeah, so this is some of the Marvel books I picked up. I'm so happy to find these books. Let me tell you. I'm so happy. So, so happy. Because it finally finishes my run. Um, but I think I have issues two and three, one and two of this. But this is um, Strike Force Moratory Electric Undertow. Issue. This is book three of five. I think I have one and two already. That's, that's three. This is four of five. Nice white cover. And not five of five. So I think that finishes that run for me. But not only that, but I found the last two issues I needed for the main run, which is 13. This is a nice 52 page here. And the final issue, 31. So that finally completes that run for me. This is Marvel Projects 
um, issue six. Steve McNiven cover. I think it's cover C. Finishes that run for me. Um, like I said, a lot of things I'm kind of running down, trying to collect. So I'm like, well, what's next? What's next that I have in my collection that I want to kind of finish? And one of those is Astro City Volume 2. I think I have a lot of bit of Volume 1 except for Issue 1. Um, but I have quite a bit of Volume 1. But I, I have Volume 2, Issue 1, a couple random ones. But So I'm trying to pick that together. Number 9 and 19. This is probably one of the only indie books I got. This is Saber number five. Pretty cool, pretty cool um, um character. I've I read issue one. It was really, really interesting. But any of a lot of these eclipse books I'm really starting to really starting to enjoy. Um, some new universe stuff I found. Obviously in the dollar bins, cheap stuff. Here's 22 of DP7. Definitely the later issues. Uh, 24. And they had a bunch of these. I was pulling these out like the first box. I think the first box I pulled out. Like ten books of the first box. I'm like, I'm gonna shoot my budget here <laughs> in the first three or four boxes. Issue twenty five and twenty six. I probably could have found the rest of the ones I needed, but I didn't want to spend money just on the universe stuff. <laughs> but I did happen to find the last few issues of of the Justice series that I needed, and they're all like right in one box. So I just grabbed them all. Here is number twelve. 14, number 16, number 19, number 21, 22, that's a nice little cover, 23, 24, 25 and 26. So I said that finishes that run for me. So now I'm only needing, I don't need too much more to complete the whole new universe. I found issue two of damage control. I think this is volume three. Um, I already had it, but I still bought it anyways. And this is issue, I think volume three, issue four. So yeah. Find a random issue of Winter Soldier. I think, I think this is volume one. At least Winter Soldier and um, Black Widow cover. Number seven. Nice little, nice little one in the bags and boards. Now. This is a relative one. Um, got some Elf Quest. This is another one that I'm trying to, if I'm trying to collect it, I got to collect it one through 10, 11 through 20. When I see them, pick them up. Otherwise, I just, I just won't pick them up. So I picked up issue three. I had one and two. So there's three. I actually picked up two copies of three. Um, issue four. Issue five. Issue six. And lastly, issue seven. So that gives me a straight run from one through seven so far. And I think I have a couple other random ones. But like I said, I, I gotta I gotta do that one. Like I said, one through ten. When I see them, buy them. Um, if there are any later issues. You know, wait till I get to there. Otherwise, I just like I can't hop around from issue to issue. Otherwise, I'll I'll just never finish it. And then lastly, I'll show you what, what Josh gave me. He has some really cool stuff. Uh, this is a reprint. Um, I think it's issue it's like seven or eight of Shield. Nick Fury agent of Shield. This is a nice uh, reprint of that. I just sold. I had the original copies. I just sold it at a at a flea market um, not too long ago. So yeah, there's that. There's that back cover. Nice wrinkle covers. So yeah, it's nice to have to have the Reaper, and I can read when I want to. Really happy to see these. I've never seen these before. This is uh, this is Armageddon, the Alien Agenda. This is a four issue series. And then there's then there's well, first of all, I think this one came out first. There's Armageddon Inferno. There's a four-part mirror. I think this came up first. This is 92. Oh, no. no. I was wrong. I was wrong. Back up. This came out first. Alien Agenda came out first. This came out 91. The four-part mirror series. I got issues one, two, and three of this. 
It's cool. It's got Captain Adam in it, which I really, really love. So there's one. There's two. And there's three. So like all the different variations of Captain Adam in there. So now I gotta find issue four before I can read it. So now there's this series came out after that. This is Armageddon Inferno. The Spectre Batman papers on there. There's issue one. And there's issue two. It's got Hawkman on there. Sergeant Rock, it looks like. Issue three. Some Guy Gardner, some Lobo, some Orion. That's pretty cool. And then there's issue four. It's got the JSA on it, which is awesome. So that's pretty sweet. I got this Justice League Spectacular. Some kind of a, I'm assuming it's a one shot. Some 92. That's pretty cool. A blue Beetle and Booster Gold on there. Sweet. And then this is the Ultimates number 16. The sweet Captain America cover on it. And I know it's very hard for anybody to, to send me anything that's cap related because I, if it came out within the past 20 years, um, I pretty much have it. Unless it's a variant cover. Um, I don't collect variant covers unless I find them for cheap and they look pretty cool. But I sure the hell don't collect 1 in 50 <laughs> variants. This is uh, Captain America. I think this is volume 7, issue 17. This is uh, 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 Rags Morales 1 in 50 variant which is pretty really sweet um i would never collect a one in 50 i would never even see a one in 50 let alone collect it so um very very happy to have this josh this is crazy um very 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 happy to have that so yeah that's my haul that's my my uh my gift my exchange whatever you want to call it an act of kindness um such a such a great guy. I mean, you've seen his videos. He how he's in videos is exactly how he is in real life. Um, I would not expect anything less with him showing up with a Steelers <laughs> jersey on. Uh, much rather have it be a Steelers jersey than a Penguins jersey, because it was a Sidney Crosby jersey. I I probably would have got back in my car and drove home. <laughs> but so just for him, I actually wore the golden the gold shirt and the black shorts. I wore the 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 Steeler color just for him that day. Um, so yeah, so I had to give him a, a little tribute there. Um, but like I said, he's a great guy. Um, you know, from the videos is happy to finally, finally meet him after shit. We're 11 years now. So yeah, um, can't see, um, anything better than, uh, he's just a great guy. And he's, he's a, he's a friend of mine. I'm sorry. He's, he's a friend of mine now. Um, so yeah, 18 minutes. Wow. it's a long video for me, but yeah, that's it. Um, this probably be the last haul for a little while. Um, Hockey starts, <laughs> and it's already started. Hit a hockey game last night, um, a scrimmage game. Um, he wraps up his summer league. Well, he's got a game Thursday. If they win Thursday, play for the championship the following Thursday. Um, and then it's balls to the walls with, with um, um, off ice training, and then practices start August sixth, and then we're in the league. And we tournament in at the end of August. And then we're going to North Carolina in the beginning of October for a tournament. Going down to Charlotte. Um, so we're looking for some shop, shops down there. If anybody watches the videos, they know about Charlotte. There's a good any good shops down there nearby. Um, leave a comment, let me know. And then then the high school hockey will start varsity hockey will start again in, in October. And that's gonna run till March. <laughs> and then Another tournament in March. Probably just in Niagara Falls, though. So it's not really a far one. But yeah, and then we'll probably pick up summer hockey again in, in April. Um, it, just, it just it never ends. But he loves it. And I love watching him play. So as long as he's having fun, we'll, we'll keep spending the money. But yeah, that's all. Um, so my money is going to go to him. All his all his equipment he needs and, and travel and whatever. So he's well worth it. He's a good kid. But uh, that's all. 20 minutes. Wow. I guess uh, we'll see you next one. Thanks for watching. Take it easy. Bye.